Hey there, crafty friends. Thanks so much for stopping by the channel today. This is Tina here for Miss Ink Stamps. And in today's video, we're going to be creating a winter themed thank you card featuring the new warm winter wishes stamp set. This stamp set is so cute featuring this little adorable snow couple. So super cute. There's a little bird on the hat, the little birds eating on the ground, and then that sentiment warm winter wishes. I went ahead and stamped and embossed this sentiment using some VersaFine black onyx ink. We're also going to be using another stamp set in addition to this. It is a sentiment set and it is called Autumn Thanks and it is a perfect large size sentiment to be featured on the front of a card. I went ahead and colored this cute little couple and I'm going to grab my jelly roll pen. It is a smaller size, the 05, and I'm just going to add a couple dots on each of the eyes there. And I have this silver, metallic silver pen, and I'm going to draw a little bit of silver into the ornaments and blend that out using my sparkle marker. And that gives it a little bit of bling there on the tree and the ornament that the snow girl is holding. I'm grabbing my fussy cutting scissors. I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut this image out. I am cutting out the birds because I want the image to be a little bit smaller. So that is the only reason why I'm not going to include those adorable little birds. But I'm sure I'll do another card with it sometime soon. So I'm going to go ahead and work on blending the background. And for this background, I'm going to be using some Distress inks and some Bristol Smooth cardstock. I went ahead and cut out a four and a half by five and a half panel, and I'm just softly blending some color. I'm going in at a diagonal, going from the darkest to lightest. And I'm using the Victorian Velvet, the Milled Lavender, and the Spun Sugar. You wouldn't think that the milled lavender would blend very nicely, but it actually works really nice with that Victorian velvet. Of course, I'm doing a lot, a lot of strokes here because it is the Distress inks, and it does take a little bit longer to blend a background with these, but I did want some really nice soft color, and I don't have all of the colors in the Distress Oxides yet, so of course I'm going to use what I have. Once I get that first layer on... I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more color, blend it through just a little bit more, and then I'm going to go ahead and grab my stencil. This stencil is also from the new release, and it is called Sweater Weather. And I'm just going to use my magnets to lay it down, and using the same order of inks going darkest to light the victorian velvet the milled lavender and the sponge sugar i'm going to add additional color over the background with the stencil adding those little knit lines in there i love this new stencil it really is pretty and i love it in the pinks it's a change from all the blues that i've been working with over christmas and so i think that this background is a nice gives it a nice winter look and it doesn't have to be used for Christmas. It's definitely just a cold weather type of a stencil. So adding that lightest color over the top and then just having it kind of fade out is what I'm trying to do. So just getting the areas that I missed. And then I didn't at the time realize that the stencil was on there a little bit crooked, but that's okay because I'm going to be using a stitched rectangle die. And when I run it through my die cutting machine, I'm going to straighten it out so that it doesn't look crooked on my actual panel. So now that I have my stencil background, I'm going to get my heat tool and dry the ink because I'm going to want to stamp and emboss on this panel. I'm also going to prep this layer with this anti-static powder tool. So I'm brushing a lot of powder on there. It's the very first time that I'm using this new, new tool, but I did not use enough powder. So if you have this and you're if you're interested in getting that, make sure you use a lot more than what I used because it 
the the clear embossing powder stuck all over my panel. It didn't work that well for me. So I'm going to go ahead and get that stamp on there. I'm going to use the Versafine black ink. I'm going to double stamp it to get it nice and juicy. And then I'm going to go out, grab my clear embossing powder. And as I mentioned, when I did put the powder on there, it stuck all over. So I did need to get a paintbrush and clear a lot of that powder off. So when I got as much powder as I could off, I went ahead and heated my heat tool, got that melted. And the sentiment just looks fantastic over across my uh, panel, my stencil panel. So now I'm going to pop up my image using some double-sided adhesive foam. I like to give it nice and good coverage so I make sure and get all the little areas popped up nice and good so that it doesn't get smashed in the mail. I'm going to use a top folding A2 card base and using some liquid glue, I'm going to glue that Bristol Smooth cardstock onto my card base. And smooth it out nicely using my bone folder, making sure that it's pressed nice and flat. Getting those adhesive tapes off the back of that double-sided foam. I'm going to center it on my card and I have these new little sparkly pearl flat backs from Trinity Stamps that I'm going to embellish my card with. These are perfect for a little bit of snow and I used quite a bit of them. I think that they're so cute and I'm just going to adhere them down using some of the liquid glue and I love the way that they look. They're very pearly but then again they give it some dimension and some texture to your card and it does resemble some snow which is perfect for the, the little snow couple on this thank you card. Finally, I'm going to add a little bit of bling over the top hat, the little berries, and the rose on her hat. And that completes my winter themed thank you card using the Warm Winter Wishes stamp set. Thanks again for stopping by. I hope you like the card. I hope you like this video. The links are all listed in the description box below. And I hope you all have a fantastic day and happy new year. And until next time, happy crafting. Bye for now.